hello another month another vlog um yeah it's the first of march today uh as i mentioned february vlog i've got a long weekend now um so it's friday uh jimmy has gone to work i got up the same time as him i've been just pottering around the house it's actually half six in the moment in the morning um i'm going to head off to b and q in a second i want to get the foot i went opens at seven um a because jimmy needs some insulation to do stuff in the roof um and b i want to get some paint samples for in here to do some of the walls and make kind of tidy up because some of the walls are a bit like battered and over there it could do with it like a got some marks on the wall so i just want to um just spruce up the walls in here a little bit nothing too crazy or anything like that um and then i might pop to tesco afterwards um and because i thought i might surprise jimmy and make some cookies today for when he gets back from work um because he would have got super soggy getting to work today because it's absolutely rain like pissing it down out there and um he has to cycle to the train station get the train and then cycle from the train station to work uh so i can imagine he's getting quite soggy today um so i thought i'd make him some cookies when he gets back um and i've got a few different bits and pieces i want to do today but yeah i thought it might be quite fun to spend the day with me again um we'll see how hot march brings we are going away in march um to snowdonia which will be fun um probably a separate video on that one but uh yeah i've got a nice long weekend right now because i've got monday off as well so uh let's have some fun okay i'm just back from being q and tesco jamie deceived me but how big that installation was going to be so he's like he's a graphic designer and he works for a construction company um and they have their insulation like really compressed um and i got that i went to get it first because it was the furthest away in the shop and then i was gonna get the paint afterwards and uh, i didn't realize how big it was gonna be so i had to make two trips into being q because uh i couldn't carry that as well as the paints and that was surprisingly heavy as well <laughs> so uh yeah but anyway i did it i had two trips the woman at cashier thought i was a bit odd but it's all good so i picked up four samples um to try for paint um they've got towels out on their line next door it's absolutely tipping it down so don't think they're gonna dry um so yeah so at the moment the shelves not all the shelves are fully painted so they've got like a, a varnish a wooden varnish on top and then blue front bits and uh, I don't know what I want to paint stuff. So I kind of thought maybe in the background I'd do grey. Oh, did I not get like a dark grey? No, I didn't actually want. So I've got two greys. One's called Monopolis. One's called Whistler. Um, I also just got a cream. This was Valdez. I will swatch them in a minute on the wall. And then I looked. I thought, oh, what about actually? I like purple in here. So to make it a bit more fun. Because I need to keep it quite light colours. Um, a because it's a small room so it's too dark it look it feel really small but also like i want plenty of light in here um to do makeup and stuff so but i thought like a light purple might be quite fun so i'm just going to sw swatch them on the back wall here and we'll see i've got regular paint brushes these aren't proper paint brushes but we'll just uh i'll clean them afterwards it's all good but yeah let's make let's have a go ignore the mess You wouldn't have thought I'd tied it up in the last vlog, literally a few days before this one, but it's fine. Okay, so I need to make sure I keep these in the right order. So if we go with the cream first, so this was Valdez, these are all just good home paints. Nothing particularly fancy. Oh, they come with brushes. Maybe I knew that, I don't know. Alright, that's looking a bit more white now. And I've got it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks a bit more white. I mean, it's a yellowy, it's definitely an off white, but I think because this room is already quite a deepish cream, it looks a bit more white. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. So that's that swatch. Uh, we'll go with Whistler next. It's the lighter of the two greys. Another thing I should have picked up a dark grey potentially. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, that looks borderline white as well. I've done a really bad job of picking these out. I 
I'm going to leave them and see how they dry. Ah. See now that's, that is t that's looking a bit more cream now. Now I look at it as opposed to white. Okay, we'll see. Then we got Monopolis, which is a slightly darker grey. It's a bit more. It's like a more like a, a green toned grey is what I describe it. Looking at it. Oops. Oh yes, that's more grey. Right, that's Monopolis. And then we've got Hokkaido. I don't know how you pronounce it, but this is the purple. I wasn't, I was thinking like creams or greys, but when I saw this purple, I was like, oh, that could be an option. Be quite fun heading into spring. You never know. Yeah, it just needs to stay quite light in here, I think. Okay. I will bring it closer in a second, but I'm apparently keep dropping paint everywhere. Oh, actually, I could paint that, couldn't I? So this, this is... Oh, this is going to make me think... When did my sister get married? This is, but this is basically the bouquet I had from my sister's wedding. And it's been this. But actually, because the white is starting to fade, because it's quite... Do I say five years old? No, 2019. Was it 2019 or 2016? 2018. Let's go five years. I think, for, actually, if it's 2019, then it is five years. Well, five years in November. Um, but yeah, but actually, potentially that would be quite nice to paint. The outside of that. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, let's... Keep those in those order over there. It's lovely. <laughs> okay, so here's the swatches. So yeah, it's looking like a bit is looking a bit more cream. It's just because this is quite a dark cream. Um, but yeah, I quite like that. That's coming out darker than I thought it would. But I don't know, I quite I still quite like it. I really actually quite like the purple to be fair. Um, because it's not this I want to see how dark it goes, but it's not too dark that I think it would affect. The lighting in here. Um, I think that's definitely too dark for over here, but potentially it could go behind here because I also need to paint like up under here as well. Um, but I don't know, maybe the dark colours could get behind and have some fun. I don't know. Okay, looking slightly different right now. I've just filmed a video. The Benacos one, which actually the eyes, you can't really turn this light, but if you watch the video, the eye swatching and like the colour palette almost looks very similar to the samples of paints on my wall at the moment. It's kind of like a similar, a similar colour theme. Anyway, I'm about to go and make some cookies and surprise Jamie when he gets home. Um, but I thought I'd quickly, um, we got a, I've got a package. Uh, this is not makeup. <laughs> this is coffee. Um, we really like the brand Rave Coffee. It's very local to us. Um, I mean, my dad likes it a lot. Like a lot of us like it a lot. Um, and yeah, I think we picked up a few different ones. We usually do a signature blend. Um, I think Jamie just picked up a few smaller bags of different beans to try because um, our coffee machine's beans. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you before I start the baking process. Hopefully he won't mind that I'm opening it without him, but let's see what I found. Yeah, so the brand's called Rave. Like I said, it's Siren Sister, which isn't too far from us, so yeah, very local based. Um, and I actually, when I used to work at um, a pub, I actually had some training lessons there when I was training to make coffees with the machine and stuff. So yeah, I do know the brand quite relatively well, and it's, it's a nice brand. Um, it's quite cool inside because they're all, all beans and yeah, you can get um, obviously beans, you can get grounded coffee, one to two cafetiers, whatever you prefer. Um, yeah, so we got the, yeah, Jamie picked most of these out, uh, the Italian blend. 
Um, so this is dark, it's five bean dark. Um, so it tastes like dark chocolate and walnut. So that'd be nice. Um, oh, we did get one of the signature blends. This is medium dark. Uh, it tastes like caramel, almond and chocolate. Yeah, but that's always a winner. Signature blend is a really nice one. Uh, Chatsworth blend, dark, and it tastes like big chocolate. Big chocolate. Um, yeah. So just they do do bigger bags, but I think um, to try a few new ones out, we've got a few small ones. Um, and then fudge blend. So it's medium dark, and it tastes like fudge. So yeah, I'm excited. How much is all? Of Oh, they do pods as well. So if you've got like a pod machine, there you go. I don't think they did pods. Um, yeah. Oh, it looks like they don't do the big bags. Maybe it's just the ground coffee they do. The oh, no. Hang on. Oh, no, they do. So small, which is the 250 grams, which one we've got is 6.95. Or you can buy like a one kilogram for 23.65. Um, I think you spend 30 to get shipping free. But if you like your coffee, I mean, well worth it. I'm just trying to see how old they are, because obviously I, I think they're quite new. Ah, oh, so it started uh, 1st of January 2011. Um, converted an old shed in back of evening. <laughs> That's quite cool. And then now it's in San Francisco for the last 12 years. But yeah. I had my training there, which was quite fun. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you the coffee, and now I'll make on to the cookies. is broken. <laughs> Jamie should be back soon, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and start making some dinner. I've put all the cookies in a tin, ready for when he gets back. I have sampled one. I possibly left them in for a tad too long. They got a bit of a crunch to them, but they're still quite tasty. Oh, and then I made like a little candle today. So it's a plain candle, but then I put a wax melt, a rose wax melt through it. That was quite cute. Um, I'm actually gonna put a wax melt on now. I'm going for jasmine for tonight. Um, yeah, you should be back. I'm making risotto and um, yeah, all good. Because I'm ripping. <laughs> this one is going to need a uh, steam. Steam. That's fine. I'm not. It needs to steam anyway, so I'm not just yeah. moving. Forgot about mixing in the uh, samples. Oh, yeah. We're mixing the samples there so then it's a waste. Yeah. Monday. Jamie's just left for work. It's just gone half five in the morning. Um, so I'm going to carry on with this room. So we did the grey. So actually, I picked out three of the colours. Jamie was like, let's just do three. So we went with the cream, the purple and the darker grey. The lighter grey I didn't really didn't like. So we're doing a three-toned uh, room in here. 
Um, so we're doing the grey in the background because we thought actually when the shelves are in and then there's lights underneath the shelves, it will kind of show up a bit more with a slightly darker background, but it's not too dark. And then we've gone with purple on the opposite side. Um, we did two coats. I think it's okay with just two coats, but obviously it's quite dark out. Um, so it's hard to tell that it might need a third coat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the two other walls, the window wall and the store wall, um, the really light cream colour. Um, which is going to help massively because this house when we moved in I think obviously the owners got it prepped for selling painted everything cream they even put in like the description suitable for like a landlord which made sense when you saw it with all the colour scheme but they must have done it a while ago because all the walls are like scuffed up I mean the hallway was a stay the kitchen was a stay if you saw our renovations painting over that so everywhere has scuffs so like just to brighten A it's a lighter colour so it's going to brighten this wall up um, both the walls, but it's also just going to tidy up and make it a bit neater. Um, so there's quite a few <laughs> rooms that could do with neatening up a bit. Um, and actually there's going to be a bit of paint left over because um, I'm not going to use all this paint. Um, but yes, that's the day. So I'm going to take off the frog tape off everywhere. I'm tempted to be risky and not bother putting it back on for the cream because I think... We'll see. See how brave I am. I feel like I'm only going to need to put it on with the where it's going to border the purple and the grey. I feel like the ceiling's not going to matter too much and the skirting boards aren't going to matter too much because it's a very similar colour as it is. It's quite a, like a whitey cream. Um, but I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to let it dry. I can do a second coat. Um, in between, I'm going to edit some videos. I'm going to give the whole house a bit of a clean as well. I feel like I'm forever giving the house a bit clean, but it just gets so like dirty really easily and a bit uh, messy. And Jamie was drilling out a seat, part of the ceiling on the Saturday. So, um, yeah, it could do a bit of a tidy up. But I'm going to make a start. Everything that was in here is now piled up in this room. So this room never will be tidy because it's forever, new, forever being used as a dumping ground. Um, I've also got paint the undersides of the shelves. Those are also going to be grey. So what I'm going to do is once I've done the two coats of the cream and that I'm happy that um, no, other root, no other wall needs a third coat, I'll then start bringing those in and start painting bit one by one. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So let's get started. It's quite early in the morning but I'm glad because it means I can get lots done today um, and not just paint this room. So let's get going. Okay, almost two hours later and I've done coat one of the cream. It's really hard to see where like I have and haven't oh gone over. Um yeah, you're not really gonna see until I'm kind of done. Um I feel like the cream is gonna be a three coater because there's so many marks on those walls. And whereas the purple and obviously grey are slightly darker, they cover it a bit easier. So I feel it's gonna be a three painter. So I've let the window open, I'll give that a couple of hours start cleaning the entire house and I'll come back to do later too in a sec. Okay it's a couple of hours later I pretty much cleaned, dusted um, and did the bathroom so I just got a hoover but I need to put the hoover on charge um, so I'll do that later. So I'm going to move on to round two of the cream coat. I now it's a bit more light. I really don't think the grey or the purple needs a third coat at all. The cream is definitely going to need a third coat. Um, which is fine, um, kind of the lighter colours, you do want to make sure it's, it looks good. But yeah, it's just a few patches where, obviously there are already marks on the wall. You can see those. Um, so I just need to go over them a few times. But yeah, it's only like 
quarter past nine. So I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get cracking with round two. Okay, that's the three coats of the cream done. I've also painted the underside of the shelves because um, that needed doing. I'm gonna give it like a good hour or so. I'll then come back, remove the tape, see what the shelves are like, potentially I could put them up. And then I need to uh, sort this floor out because it's a bit messy. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to clean up all the brushes and put all the paints away because I think I'm done. I may have to do a touch up because I have a feeling these shelves are pretty like tight in the rails. So potentially the cream may get some scuffs. Um, but I'll just grab a uh, paintbrush and go over it so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, it's almost one o'clock so I think I'm quite happy with myself to be honest. Um, but it's looking, it is looking good. Um, obviously it'll look better once <laughs> all of this is in there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clean myself up, clean the brushes up. I could do a bit of editing, then I'll come back and see what I can do with this afterwards. So we've started a bird wall over here. Um, these two were, uh, oh this already came out, I think it's French grey. This is actually a birthday greeting this car we put into there. And then this has come out of this book here, which I gave Jamie for his birthday, because um, he really wanted it. Um, so I've actually got these frames here, which we're going to fill with three more of these and carry on our bird wall. So I've just got a side, which three. I think it has to be one with white backgrounds, doesn't it really? That suits yeah, the wall. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So let's have a look through. So yeah, that one's too hectic. But something simple. There's a couple of the seam ones that might work, but... I, really, I like the flamingo one. Yeah. Oh, we can get the flamingo one up there if you want. Yeah. And it also needs to be a portrait as well. It can go either way. Oh, yeah, I guess actually we could do. There we go. That shows the frame's age. Unit 4 assessment, time to examination, examination Jamie Robinson. <laughs> number, my college number. Wow. From a gallery back in college. <laughs> Look at this one. Yeah? Yeah. That's a nice period. Yeah. Roughly normal, sort of colour wise. Yeah. Yeah. Three new ones are up. So left some gaps, there's gonna be two little ones gonna be here. Probably put another little one here, a little square one here, possibly a bigger one here, a bit more one here, and yeah, just a collection of birds on a wall. Very nice. Very nice. I like them. Where are we going tomorrow? Sidonia tomorrow. Sidonia. So we're off there for a week, staying at a um, cottage in Bed Gellet. That would be nice. Um, it's looking wet all week, which is really mm. lovely. So we've got a lot to pack, mainly. Waterproof things. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, so just kind of really bringing stuff down, and we're gonna pack my backpack. <clears throat> I've already kind of packed the clothes and stuff down here. We did a, a food shop like we always do, and just kind of put them in bags here. We just need to get the fridge and freezer stuff out, and just packing all the other bits and pieces now. So yeah, I'm gonna do my little bag next. I think. Do your bag first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so keep anything in the bottom a bit dry. Mm -hmm. um, Gators are going to shove in here, which has written on the side water tablets, foil blankets, matches, knife, lighters, rope, zip ties, clips, tape. None of those are in there. Probably should have written on something that's washable, but anyway. I'd say put, yeah, put those at the bottom probably. What's next? 
the effects. Then... Are you wanting to for um, other weapon Yes, I am, but I'll shove that into it. Oh, that's really happening on there, well. Aren't they going in there? These? That and that there, yeah. Down the side there. It's all right. Cool. You must stick those in the top. Yeah. Take a picture of them because obviously they got them for you for Christmas for that. Yeah. Top of snow down. We'll stick that down the back of yours. And then just grab that compass and shove that in there as well. Just make sure we've got a back up. Take these two. Okay. So next we got cameras, memory cards, chargers, and mini tripod. Okay, so all my camera bits and pieces are here. We selected a few games to take with us, not too many, but just a few to enjoy. We've got oh, cards, past the pigs, barricade, and monopoly. I think that should be good. We need to pick up some books as well. We do need to pick up some books. Yeah. Pick some books up. Shall we? Okay, so I'm only 100 pages into my current book, so I'm just going to take a couple more with me. But I'm really sad and I put them into this generator because it's much more fun knowing what book I'm going to get next. Or not knowing what book I'm going to get next, should I say. So I'm going to pick a couple anew. Oh, I've read Freeze. Remove. <laughs> that was like the last book I read. Oh, you forgot to take it out. I forgot to take it out. Try again. Ooh, under the ice. And then remove. And let me take, pick another one. Oh, I think it's the side of that shelf up. How to kill your best friend. So I've got, well, I've almost finished. The prisoner. The prisoner. Yeah. Um, but I've picked out The One Who Lied and No Mercy. Oh, okay, cool. So, I don't think you've read either of these as well. I haven't read any of those. So, I guess I whiz through mine. Yeah. <sighs> Some games. Oh, I was so close to beating my high score yesterday on that one, wasn't I? So, so close. That was one of our best games because we all. All properties were owned by us. Yeah. We and we managed to get everything. like keeps and a lot of them. Yeah, we uh, run out of uh, keeps to use. Because at one point I thought I was going to lose, then it switched roles, then it switched yeah. again. And it was like a very good game, I thought. It was a very good game. Yeah. The books. Actually, is it likely we're going to have a read tonight? Probably not. Probably not so I'll just so. leave those, put those in there. We've gone through all our recipes because it's an Airbnb so we're going to be cooking, we might go to the pub one night, um, but yeah, so I've written all down all the recipes so we've got it and then we've packed all the non-fridge and freezer food, 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 and we can just do the fridge stuff tomorrow. It's all good, we've got some wine over there, some soft drinks, okay, so I'm going to go up and do toiletries now, I think. Okay, so I realised I never actually fully showed you this room once it was painted and everything back in. Uh, so I'll do a quick little look now. Ignore it, it is slightly messy. But just ignore that. <laughs> okay, so. Here you've got the pink, uh, purple wall. Which I think looks really nice. It's not too intense. But really pretty in spring. And obviously this was just a cream. And then a bit of a grey behind the shelves which I think looks really nice and when I've got the lights on it looks quite pretty so yeah it just looks a bit tidier in here now um, which I'm happy about these bottom three shelves are kind of more decorative as you can see quite nicely done and my books and stuff like that and I have pulled out my spring coloured uh, nail varnishes ready to use <laughs> and also my spring kind of coloured headbands and stuff because I am that sad and then we go further up <laughs> It is more just storage 
<laughs> so we don't look at those top three it's just the bottom three that look nice so um yeah it makes such a difference actually being nice and painted a it just tidies everything up in here a little bit um but also it just makes it a little bit nicer and a little bit colorful so um yeah that is this room